I'll make those changes right here, right now. So I hope you enjoyed that version. Before I start, this episode was suggested to me by Ibrahim Dangra in the comments section of one of my videos. He's actually a close friend of mine. If you have any suggestions for episodes or actually want to know how some things are done, let me know in the comments below. I'll recreate it and I'll teach it to you the best way that I can. I can already tell it's gonna be a fun series. <laughs> so this effect is pretty straightforward and it's done all in Adobe After Effects. I know you can do it on Final Cut Pro with a plugin, but I use a PC because PC Master Race. But anyways, here are some essential tips prior to shooting your footage. Number one is to shoot wide and in a high resolution. This effect is pretty much impossible without doing some cropping in, as the software basically compensates in the movement of your clip, hence shifting it away from its original frame. And it's very essential to shoot at a high resolution, like 4K, 6K, because if you shoot at 1080 and you have to crop in a lot, you're gonna go into 720 and even, dare I say, 480p. <laughs> Depends what you're using it for, but you probably don't want that. I shot everything in this video at 4K using the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter. I try my best to keep everything in the center, regardless, there was a lot of cropping being done, especially in the shots where there was a lot of rotations. Number two is to shoot at a high shutter speed. And it, the reason for it is because it blurs the points that you're actually tracking. In some of the shots, I shot at like one over 120th, and that wasn't enough. I had to shoot at one over 250th of a second. But what you can do is afterwards add some motion blur like I did in the shot where I do the bicep curls. Grr. And that's just a personal preference. I thought it'd be nice to see some motion blur. In the Beats by Dre one, you do see some motion blur, but that's probably because the athletes were going super fast. To do the basic version of the effect, let's jump onto After Effects with our clip. This is basically a shot of me picking up the phone and I purposefully move my head a lot to emphasize the effect. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna bring your tracker up is this thing on the right. If you don't have this on the right, you go to Window Tracker. Then you wanna select your clip and then you wanna hit Stabilize Motion. And then what it does is it takes you from Composition to Layer and you have this thing called a Track Point. So you wanna basically put this point somewhere where there's a lot of contrast and there's a visual point that's easier to follow. There are two squares and the rule of thumb is the bigger the square, the longer it takes, but also the more accurate it will be for tracking. So I see on my phone here that I have um, the little torch and that's a clear contrast between white and black. So I'm gonna put the tracker point right there. And I'm gonna keep this relatively relatively big. And then what you want to do here is in options, at the bottom here it says if the confidence is below 80%, so essentially if Adobe After Effects isn't very sure about the tracking point, it can do one of four things. I usually just put it to stop tracking or rather recenter it to the right point. But that's just my personal preference, but test these out, see what works for you. And then the next thing you do is you just analyze forward. Okay, so this is now done. So here we have all of the tracking points. And then all you have to do now is literally just click apply and apply X and Y. As you can see, it's compensated in the movement of the clip. So next thing I do is I go to this little icon, which is choose grid and guide options. I click and then I click on tile action safe. So this brings up a reference guide and this cross here is the center of it. So what I wanna do is actually uh, go to transform position and I want to just move whatever I want to keep in center at the center point. So in this case, I want to keep the Apple sign of the phone in the center. So now that I've moved it there, I still have some black bars on top here, as you can see. So I'm going to increase the scale just a little bit. So I'm going to just check. I still need to increase the scale a bit more because I still got those black bars. And that's pretty much it. Like if I get rid of this grid and press play, Boom. If you want more of an emphasis, you can zoom in more if you have the capacity for it. And there you go, that's the basic effect. So for the rotational effect, it's very similar to the first one, but once we click Stabilize Motion, we want to check the rotation box. So we have position and rotation. And as you can see, you get two tracking points. So you wanna find two points that are fairly far from each other, but also have high contrast. First one is gonna be this kind of like dark mole that I have in my hand. And then the other one, I think I use my nail. Okay, so now that we have our points tracked, we do the same thing. We hit apply, X and Y. And as you can see, the screen 
basically goes a bit crazy and you have all of this black space and just like before if we increase the scale like so say i want to center my the middle of my hand i think my watch is probably the best thing to do here i think that's what i did in the last one just like that that's what you get as you can see it looks pretty good and then all i did at the end was just add some motion blur and that gave it that kind of motion blurry look so yeah that's pretty much it that is how you do the beat by dre locked on tracking effect have fun with this effect i'd love to see what you guys can come up with so if you do send it to me at dkd21 media on instagram or my personal one at cami sees if you like the first episode of this new series make sure you leave it a like so i know that you guys liked it if you didn't like it a dislike and if you want to keep in touch with the series subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified when i make a new video and lastly if you have any recommendations for things that you want to see me try and recreate and then teach you leave them down in the comments below and with all that being said and done i'll see you in the next video